Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel server again. My name is Dr. Lokendr Singh and once again today we are going to discuss about HTTPS. HTTPS. Why do we use HTTPS? So as we simply see and we try to access any website so we type in our desired URL into web browser and sometimes we see that sometimes uh, it is written there HTTP, sometimes it is written HTTPS. So as I have already explained you in my last video that HTTP works with the web, the web browser and obviously all the data is transferred in clear text format. But if we talk about HTTPS, so that works on TLS with SSL, it means secure socket layer where data is transmitted over an encrypted session between client and server based on public and private keys and certificate you can call it. Okay. So when we are going to enable HTTPS, first of all, let us try to understand this SSL.com file. What is SSL.com file? So if I go here slash etc and HTTP read and I, I try to do ls here, I go inside conf.d. Let me go here conf.d. So I do not find any file any file named with ssl.conf. So I need to install one module here which is known as mode underscore ssl. So I will install that module first of all. After that we will try to understand the file and post that we will generate a certificate. Em install httpd httpd then mode underscore ssl. So as HTTP is already installed, so that will not be re installed, but obviously mode SSL package will be installed here. Reason being, because mode SSL is the particular uh, package or you can call it RPM which provides SSL.com. Only this thing enables us like we can use SSL or we can use HTTPS. So as we see here that port number 443 will be enabled for this. So let us try to restart service HTTPD HTTPD restart. So if we try to hit this command and after that netstat hyphen T U N L P. If we run this command, so we can see here that some other ports are enabled. So but port number 443 is yet not enabled. Let us check why. So for checking that out, we will have to go to slash etc httpd conf dot d ssl dot conf so first of all we have to check this this particular is enabled it means listen means the particular directive instruct http to listen on port 443 with tcp the second argument which is https this is default protocol which is used for secure connection and uh, if you talk about, so you can write it like port number 443 and protocol is HTTPS. This is an interview question as well. People ask like, uh, what is the port number for HTTPS? So port number is 443 by default. Obviously, you can change you can change it as per your requirement. If it is required, you can type in here, listen like this. Let me show you. L I S T E and listen. Maybe 8084, whatever you want and HTTPS. So whatever you want you can type in here and, and you definitely this will be enabled fine now let us go to next parameter what is this uh, ssl pass phrase dialog exec and usr leave exec http ssl pass dialog what does it mean it means if your keys whatever you are going to generate if these are encrypted and you want that Obviously, the particular passphrase should be given in some encrypted file or that should be given, that should be read using this particular. So you can mention your file here where you can keep your passphrase because it will be quite secure and you will not be required to give your password each time as, as and when you are going to restart your service. Okay. So, <clears throat> once again, let me explain you like if the private key is encrypted with the passphrase why we are using this why we are talking this i'm going to explain if a passphrase or you can call it if a private key is encrypted with any passphrase http needs a method for requesting a passphrase from a user at the console at startup whenever you will restart the service so it will prompt one password on the 
prompt let's say you wrote a service system ctl restart httpd now it will ask you for password so this is the particular file which will ask you for password prompt so that is it it means password prompt will be given to you using this file if you want to make it like password less so there we will discuss that later on okay now let's go to virtual host what is virtual host let me show you okay 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 that's my bad i have done something wrong here okay i have modified that so v i r t u a l virtual host so what is this virtual host so right now as i already explained you that we default underscore 443 it means it will listen everything this is equal to asterisk it means star you can talk about so this is default value okay it means this virtual host defines for catch all virtual host on port 443 all the virtual host will be cached on this particular port okay now what is next ssl engine on okay let me search here ssl let me search here ssl okay this is ssl engine on if this directive is not enabled so obviously your port will not listen on your server so that is known as ssl engine on after that let's go down a bit this is ssl protocol what is this this particular set of protocol all minus ssl v2 and v3 it means these particular two protocol will not be accepted by your apache reason being if you are going to use these weak ciphers or weak protocols over internet connection so ssl v3 and ssl v2 both are vulnerable and there are so many vulnerabilities which have yet not been fixed so this is recommended to you guys to please use only those protocols or services which have quite high security at their end and for sure use tls v1 or maybe v2 but what happens is if your clients are using a still old browser maybe they are using firefox 30 version or maybe they are using chrome maybe 2021 version it means they are using really old browser so they shall be uh, able to access uh, your service with this particular server with this particular uh, cryptography or you can call it like security method but you need to make sure that if your clients are using a still old browser you need to make them upgrade it anyhow otherwise there will be a breach in security most of companies who are working on security they are uh, preferring to use tls v1 or v2 one more thing i would like to suggest here that this is not one time activity if you have configured your service one time so that will be working for long security is ever changing process it means once you have configured your security this time so you are being an admin you are supposed to read all the blogs all the hacking uh, website you need to go through and all the new vulnerabilities which are coming in market you need to keep updated keep up with them you need to keep updated with them the reason being the particular cipher which you are using today may be uh, vulnerable tomorrow so keep up keep yourself updated with that okay then after all the cipher suits it means what cipher suits it is using so high des3 and this particular is disabled md5 is disabled cd is disabled idea is disabled only these two are enabled where you see one exclamation mark it means these are not supported at all fine so when we are talking about ssl certificate file so let us go a bit down so this is the particular file so here you are going to place your certificate file it means etc pki etc means uh, editable text configuration pki means private key encryption uh, encryptions and after the tls means uh, transport layer security certificate and uh, then localhost.crt these are the file and these are some uh, cert these are this is your certificate this is your key so you will have to place your key here and after that if you go a bit more down here you will see something else as well let me show you if that is available by default or we may have to enable okay the same here file if you want to exclude or include some file here so you can include using file directory here ssl option you can include or plus or minus both are available here so you can modify these so for doing this you will have to definitely go through your ssl.com properly and that's what i'm trying to make you understand you can modify here your custom log then after browser match if you want that at least this the number of browsers should be this and downgrade to this and upgrade to this you want that your ssl unclean shutdown 
नो कीप अलाइव एस एस एल अनक्लीन सट डाउन डाउन ग्रेड वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर्स रेस्पॉन्स वन पॉइंट जीरो इट मीन्स वॉट डज इट डू दैट मोस्ट ऑफ दैट यू कैन रीड इट आउट हियर विद इन योर एस एस डॉट कॉन फाइल आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेक दैट मच टाइम रीज एंड मेक द वीडियो इज गोइंग टू ग्रो रियली लेंथ दी टूडे सो आई डोट वॉन्ट टू कीप दैट मच ओके so once you have time so definitely go through your ssl.com con file and obviously you will be benefited using this particular now what i what i am going to explain you that whenever you are trying to access your https so what else you need to keep in mind you need to keep in mind that your server should be listening on some proper port so service httpd the status let us check it is running and service httpd restart net state hyphen tunlp so it is running now port number 443 is up and running and if we create any file here so obviously that file will be accessible so let us go to slash var www.html and let us create a file here index.html is already there this is my first web server so now let us try to access this on your port number 443 but before that i will have to allow this particular port in my security group the reason being because i am using this server on aws and by default port 88 is allowed and rest 22 is allowed but port 443 is not allowed here so let me edit here HTTP, HTTPS here, and obviously from anywhere I want to allow it from, save it. And now what I need to do here is I just need to go and copy the IP address of the server, and after that paste it in my browser. This is copied now, and I will go to my browser. I will paste in here, and I will mention one HTTPS here. HTTPS. If I mention it. And after that, I type in. So this is saying not secure. Reason being, because this is my default certificate which is available to me, and it is asking me that take risk and proceed to this particular server. So I'm saying okay, I'm okay with that. So as you see here, HTTPS is enabled. My server is listening on HTTPS, but still, this HTTPS is not secure. Reason being because this is my default certificate which I have yet not created. This is default certificate which came along with Mod SSL, Modern Expert SSL package. So this is how you can configure your HTTPS. You can enable HTTPS on your server, but still we have not configured any. Uh, you can call it self-signed certificate or CA-signed certificate. This is default certificate what we are using. So let us try to have a look what all this stuff is there. So let's etc. Then after your PKI, then your TLS, LS. Then you you can go you can go for search. Run LS command here, and you will see here CA bundle dot CRT and all you are just checking here. Fine. Local host dot CRT is the certificate, and if you go to your previous directory and you go for private, and you can find here local host dot key, cat, and local host dot key, you can find it here. So this is your key, which is basically being uh, accessed by this particular server and client. So this is how this is how guys you can understand your SSL dot com file, and uh, just try to use it. And within next video, I will try to I will show you definitely how to configure your or how to generate your SSL certificate, including your CSR. It means certificate uh, certificate sign request. Then after your CRT, it means certificate and how to generate your key. So all the three parameters I'm going to show you within next video. So till then, happy learning, have a good time. And uh, if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to press bell icon. If you have any questions, so please do write in comment box. I shall be happy to help you. If you need to understand any further parameter which is available in SSL dot com file, so please do let me know. I will explain that. Thank you so very much. Have a good time. Happy learning.